Greetings everybody. So today I have two very interesting apple varieties from the Chellen Fresh Company. Probably saying that wrong. They are an orchard in Washington State. And these are apples that show up at supermarkets here in the US. They uh, did not sponsor this video. I just thought that these looked pretty interesting, so I thought I would pick them up. Probably pretty obvious, one of them is teeny tiny, and that is basically the real reason why I made this video. I saw this, and I was like, that is adorable. But uh, I also have this here, which is, which is a sugar bee apple, and the sugar bee is a cross between a honey crisp and something else. On their website, they say half of this is uh, Honeycrisp in its parentage, and it doesn't say what the other half is. What are you hiding? So today we're going to review this, and then uh, I'll also review this little baby one here, which is the Rocket Apple. So let's start with the Sugar Bee. Honeycrisp apples might be my favorite kind of apple that you can get from a supermarket, so I'm curious what that other 50% has added to this. Uh, all right. The most notable thing about this is not the flavor, it's the texture. It's really, really crisp and juicy. I've had this in my fridge for like a week. <laughs> it's not the most prime example, but it still retains a lot of that crispiness. It has the texture of an apple that you just picked off the tree. And the flavor of it is, it's fine. It, it tastes like a honey crisp, but also um, maybe not, maybe a little bit sweeter. So, and not as tangy. I feel like Honeycrisp sometimes will have like a little bit of a tartness to it. This one has a very low tartness. It's more like a Honeycrisp mixed with a red delicious apple, something like that. Maybe that's what the other 50% is. Pro probably not. Um, <laughs> uh, and the sweetness on this is like a little bit higher than your typical apple. I'd say it's like a six out of 10 rather than a five. And the tartness is like a one. Uh, all around a good flavor in the apple, but best thing about it is that texture. I really like the texture of that nice, crisp, juicy apple, even though I've kept it in my fridge for a week. And next, what we've all been waiting for, the rocket apple, which is just so freaking cute. This looks like an apple that's meant for like a doll. It doesn't even look real because it's so small. And it's not a crab apple, I don't think. It's uh, like a full apple, it's just a teeny tiny variety, which is great. Uh, on their website, they say that this apple is, uh, and I quote, ideal for the small hands of children. I mean, I'm a, a 37 year old man with a YouTube channel about fruit, everybody. I clearly do not have kids. I do have a cat though, so I'm going to take this apple and show you what it looks like next to my cat. Adorable. Uh, and I'm gonna wipe off the uh, cat hair off of this now. And... It does have a strong flavor to it. You know, that's kind of like their marketing on it. It's like small in size, strong in flavor. And um, yeah, it, it's actually more powerful than your typical apple. It doesn't have uh, any tartness to it. It's very sweet. The sweetness on this is actually higher than this one here. I'd say this is like a seven. Definitely higher than your typical apple. And yeah, I can see kids liking this because this one is like candy. The texture on this one is also notable. It's not crispy like this guy here. It's more crunchy, which is still kind of cool because like I said, it's been in my fridge for a few days and um, it didn't get soft, it didn't get mealy, it's not mushy at all. So there you have it, my honest opinion, these are good, they're, they're good. The, the flavor of these is not like crazy or anything, but the texture on them is really nice, and the fact that these are 
varieties that are new you know they're not any other companies making these varieties i don't believe uh that's pretty cool i love stuff like that you know there's so much work going into creating new varieties of apples by breeding other apples together and doing stuff like that and you can get some really interesting results and i mean that that is adorable so uh yeah these are things that are available at supermarkets so if you're interested in trying these um you know take a look see if they show up at your local supermarket and um yeah i think that's about it thanks everybody hope you enjoy this little episode and i will see you all next time I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, Lofty Rex, and JMac. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon, I'm sure you've heard about it, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the adventures that I go on on this channel and how I buy all the fruit that I buy. So if you are interested in supporting the channel, check out the link in the description below. Another way to help out is by going to my website. My website has all my videos organized into categories, which is pretty cool, and I also have t-shirts for sale over there. So check it out, and I will see you all next time.